Hey there, Kiyage Kinto here, and I am a Ballet Philippines core on stream. Since I have been home, I have been able to spend more time with my daughter Kai. I recognize and look up to women and men who came before me who are passionate in what they do and still continue to support and provide for their families. And to think about it, I have been trained for this my whole life, starting with high school where I have to balance my studies, academics, and dancing ballet in Philippine High School for the Arts. Yun yung laging tanong yun, um, how do you manage your time studying and dancing ballet? And it continued to when I took up my college degree. It's a, it's a triangle. I live in Paranaque, and I have to wake up because I study in Ipigilima. I have to take my lunch while commuting because I have to catch the 2 p.m. class at the CCP. And then I rehearse until 10 p.m. I go back home to Paranaque. That's my life back then. Of course, um, being in pandemic is not good. Aside from the chaos that is happening on a bigger scale, I was dealing with a lot of things at the start of the pandemic. To begin with, I was pregnant and will face parenthood alone at the time of the pandemic. Slowly, I began to appreciate the new world growing with me. I am inspired by how the human body adapts to change in order to accommodate new life. Witnessing the changes physically inspired my outlook in life. Last year, I was able to re reconnect with my old habits, reading, writing, meditating, and I even explored on new habits thanks to Zoom and the internet. Acting and painting, I was pushed to be a person I never knew I could be. I even participated in a cultural exchange program and enrolled in Zoom classes just to keep the learning alive. I was inspired to create, share, and collaborate. I developed a creative movement program for kids and for my students in higher education. I even collaborated in a dance film, which actually helped me verbalize my thoughts and share my experiences through movement. <laughs> 2021. Gosh, I have been dancing with Valley Philippines for 10 years now. <laughs> Back then, how I see myself in dance is very different from now. I came to realize that not everybody will be an hotel. Not because you're not good. There are a lot of factors. Um, especially there's a certain look that is demanded from I remember my friends would always say, Gia, kula pa sa puti yung foundation mo. And defensive me would always say, Bakit lahat pa ng swans na lake mo puti? Valley Philippines has taught me that I am my own artist who can collaborate, who can make mistakes, who can learn, who can shine, who can fall. Who can grow. I have been blessed to have met so many incredible artists through Ballet Philippines. Dancers, choreographers, directors, actors, musicians, stage managers, production crew alike who have inspired me and hopefully I have shared with them the same delight through dance. Kai Hiraya I will be forever thankful for my daughter, Kai Heraya. She might be dependent on me, but to be honest, I need her more than she needs me. A lot of people loves and cares for her. She just gives so much joy, love, and light, especially during these difficult times. Because of Kai, I came home. It just so happened it was timely with the pandemic lockdown that I remained at home for more than a year now. And returning home somehow gave me a sense of groundedness in my instability. My daughter is turning six months this April and I moved because of her. 
I moved to a healthier lifestyle not only because it is in line with my work as a dancer of Ballet Philippines but I have to because of her. As a single parent, I am and will always be there for her no matter how uncertain it can get. It is not because I have no choice, I have a daughter, but because it is my only choice, I have my daughter. And I guess that is very important to continue moving despite uncertainty. Move to dance, move to create, move to inspire, move for your loved ones, move to stay safe, move to celebrate life, move no matter how dark the road is ahead of you, move because we have to live, move to live.